What the friggin' hell are you doing? She can't take any more, Captain. Flipping it, go on. Hello everybody, welcome to Chaz Draycott Media and welcome to another episode of Tower Simulator 3. We've had another new airport given to us this week by the developers at Feel There and I am going to take it for a spin today. But I knew this was coming, so this is being recorded as of it just coming out of beta. So I don't think this is the full release version that I'm going to have right now, but still... We're going to be going to Austin, Texas, to K-A-U-S, Austin Bergstrom International Airport. Another airport that I have no clue about. I've never seen the layout, I've never seen a map of this place. I don't know what airlines fly there, what big stuff there is, how many runways there are, anything. So this could be really good fun, or it could be me tearing my very fluffy hair out today. So... Let's have a look at how it goes, shall we? And again, if there is anything wrong here, then it is probably resolved and done by now because this will come out a few days after it'll all have been released and properly done. So give it time and let's see how we can do. Oh, I tell you what, actually, I should actually set the airport up. 18 left and 18 right. Hmm. We're going to go 18 right. That just feels correct to me. We can change it anywhere when we get in. Uh, we're going to go for the Energy's Design database and airplane set as well because they have released their packs. Light cloud, 9am. Here we are then. So I'm instantly going to pause time here while we load in. Oh my god, what a weird layout airport you are, Texas. What? Oh my god. That is really weird. My camera hates this game. Right, okay. Okay, um, let's take a look outside, shall we, and see what we've got. So frame rate out here is fine. Uh, we've got some American, we've got Embraers, A320s, 737s, all sorts. Uh, more of them there. United there. We've got Southwest, some of them ready to push back as well. Big stuff down here. There's a Delta A3, A321, another Hawaiian A330 like we saw at Kalas. There's an Alaskan Embraer, a Delta CRJ, Spirit A321. Where's the other stuff? What are you? Is that some weird cargo thing? Oh, it's a Prime Air 737. I think they look great. I think they look really, really cool. Uh, there's nothing else down this end of the airfield by the look of it. And there is... Is that a random 727 in the middle? Hello. And there's another Southwest sat on the ramp there. Oh, some big things here. What are you? You... Oh, it's Frontier and Allegiant. And there's all the private stuff. Nice. Okay, so pretty interesting shaped airport. Very interesting shaped airport. We need to figure out where we are, actually. I need to put the POV up, so we are currently looking that way. So we've got 18 right as the main runway here, so that everyone's going to be taxiing dead far. Uh, 18 right, actually, we've set up for arrivals, haven't we? So we should be okay, because all the arrivals will come in over there, dead far away, and have a long taxi in, and we can get all the takeoffs out on 18 left. So yeah. Let's roll. You can see all the Southwest and American all lined up there. Down this terminal just in front of us with the Hawaiian on the end. I quite like that, actually. You can see basically the whole apron from here. It's really cool. It's all like one big terminal. I thought it'd be a much bigger airport than that. There's nav lights on the Prime Air 737 over there. Southwest oh. 3388 with information Juliet. Requesting push and start. Okay. Southwest 3388 pushback approved. Expect a runway 18 left. Why are you not working? Southwest 3388. Oh, I've got to restart my game again. Southwest 3388. Pushback approved. Expect runway 18 left. Let's get that tag size way Ground. down. Left. Pushback approved. Get the icon size way Southwest down. 3388. And let's have a look at them, shall we? There they are, out of the window. Pretty far back, actually, compared to the other aircraft around them. So. Austin Ground. Oh. American 455 with information alpha. Request and push and start. American 455, push back approved, expect runway 18 left. So I think the only thing we'll need to think about takeoff wise is the big A330 and anything wide body like that that may need to go out on 18 right. Uh, Southwest 1949 is going to start, oh, we need to start doing this. They're going to come in on 18 right. I like that they've made the camera able to go lower again like it used to be because you get this more, I don't know, I can't think of how to explain it. But you still get this sort of realistically low-level view of the aircraft where you're at eye level with them. And it's really, I don't know, it's personal. I like it. Austin ground. It's really Southwest good for plane spotting. With information alpha. Requesting push and start. Who was that, sorry? Southwest 1689er, push back approved. Expect runway 18 left. Southwest 3388, taxi to... 
Southwest 3388, runway 18 left via Golf. Oh, no. Golf 2, Golf. Southwest 3388, runway 18 left via Golf 2, Golf. Please go there. Thank you. Southwest 1689, at runway 18 left via Golf. Giant 3685, pushback approved. Expect runway 18 right. American 455, runway 18 left via Golf 2, Golf. Nice. Runway They're listening. <laughs> we'll get them on 18 right for Giant, just because uh, it's an easy taxi for them, because they'll just have to go down here, and that's it, and it's nice and straightforward. Southwest 1949, runway 18 right, clear to land. You are all fine and dandy, my friend. Jet right 58, approved. Expect runway 18 left. Well, we got it. Uh, let's get Southwest out of here. Southwest 3388, runway 18 left, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Austin Brown, jet right 58 ready to taxi. Giants 3685, runway 18 right via Victor. Jet right 58, runway 18 left via Alpha. Let's get you on Alpha, shall we? Get you speeding down there. What is jet right? Oh god, I didn't check what type of aircraft it is. It's a Learjet 45, I think. There goes Southwest out of here. And I've noticed something. The Learjet is making noise while it taxis. Out. Not in. That's good. That's what we want. We want noises of aircraft while they're taxiing out, not just in. That's cool. Doesn't apply to all aircraft though, unfortunately. The 737 still doesn't make any noise and I doubt the A320s or anything will. But we'll get there. We'll get there. I really hope so because I love it. It makes such a difference that. Southwest 1689 and runway 18 left cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000 contact departure. Get out of here. American 1413 pushback approved. Expect runway 18 left. Also notice that they are on the ground now. Southwest. Oh God, sorry. There they are. Yes, you are. Uh, we're not going to give you clearance just yet. Southwest one nine four nine. Taxi to ramp via Gulf. Gulf two. American four five five. Runway one eight left. Line up on way. This is kind of like Nashville, isn't it? Because you've got sort of this big crossing area bit. There's a bit more of a lip to Nashville that way, and it sort of curves around, and there's some fancy bits up there. But you've got this long runway that's sort of out of the way on that side that goes all the way down and is really long. But then you've got this sort of bigger bit to the left of your tower as well. And is that another sort of runway in the middle? I don't think it is, is it? But still, it's very similar to Nashville, I think, in its layout, and obviously the airlines that operate here as well. Southwest 3353, three, pushback approved, expect runway 18 left. Let's give clearance to them now. November 719 Bravo Hotel, runway 18 right, clear to land. Southwest three, three, uh, there three. goes Southwest, just runway rotating right, over there. To land. Off they go. November 719 Bravo Hotel. Uh, let's get Giant out of here. Giant 3685, runway 18 right, clear for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Off you runway go. Runway 18 right. Cleared for immediate take off upon take reaching off. altitude 1000. <laughs> contact departure. Giant 3685. American 455. Runway 18 left. Cleared for immediate take off upon reaching altitude 1000. Contact departure. Oh, God. How long have I played this game and I still can't get it right, can I? Still can't always get it right. There's a lot to say. A lot of information to process. Oh, I was just about to get excited that this 737 was making noise, but obviously it's an arrival. Not a departure. Oh, hello. Let's go and look at Giant. It's quite ominous, isn't it? Here they go. Next day delivery for everybody. Move out of the way. Don't want Jeff getting angry. I like that. It's clean, isn't it? Smooth. I mean, you can rotate today, son. There you go. Flipping out. Off they go. Southwest 3353, three, runway 18 left via Golf 2 Golf. American 1413, runway 18 left via Golf 2 Golf. Jet right 58, runway 18 left, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Here's the little Learjet. It's really nice that it makes a noise when it's taxiing out. Just brings it to life a little bit more, doesn't it? I don't know why that's not a thing for all the aircraft. Maybe it's to do with the activation of the sound or something, I'm not, not clue. There goes the little Learjet. 
Off on its way. Crack him. Okay, who are you? QXE. Are you Allegiant? Or something? To that effect? No, you are Alaskan, but I cannot remember your name because I wasn't listening. Sorry, so Austin we press Tower, F6. Shut American up. Let's go to this. 18 right. 18 left. Ground, 18 left. Pushback approved. Horizon Air 2141. Horizon Air. I should have known that. I should have known that. American 386, runway 18 right, clear to land. November 28... <laughs> November 208, Charlie Romeo. November 208, Charlie Romeo. Approved. Expect a runway 18 left. Ground 18 left. <laughs> Thought they were going to say uh, negative. We tried to push back by hand, but we failed. Austin Ground, November 208, Charlie Romeo with information alpha, ready to start. What? Southwest 3353, runway 18 left, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Southwest 1949 are in. Yes, everyone that's been on the ground has been in. Uh, no, actually, because 719 Bravo Hotel is just there. Whiskey Echo with information alpha. Requesting push and start. A lot of private stuff. November 850 Whiskey Echo approved. Expect runway 18 left. We, we tried to, to push, push back by hand, but, but we, we failed. failed. Please we send, send a pushback push truck. truck. November, November 850, 850 Whiskey, Whiskey Echo. Echo. November 850 Whiskey Echo. Pushback approved. Expect runway 18 left. Here is November Round. 719 Bravo left. Hotel. Oh god, this thing is tiny. You need to get a move on, mate. We've got more arrivals coming in. Of course he popped his mic. American 1413, runway 18 left, clear for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. November 208, Charlie Romeo, runway 18 left, via Alpha. American 1413, no. Horizon Air 2141, runway 18 left, via Golf. November 719, Bravo Hotel. Taxi to ramp via Hotel Bravo. Now, left. For that is Bravo. Thank God for that. Thought they were going to go on a big journey north. around here and then American back down that way. Uh, we've got an arrival east coming east in, so you need to hurry up, please. November, Charlie Romeo. November 754 Whiskey Charlie, runway 18 right, clear to land. It's quite uh, intense, this, in a strange way. It's very quiet, but Austin also there's a lot of fancy Whiskey stuff. A lot of these... Private things with long-winded call signs for an air traffic controller. November 850, Whiskey Echo, runway 18 left via Alpha. You have to sort of smoothen, soften Echo. some of your syllables sometimes. Here's American 386, just touching down. What were they? That didn't look like a 737. No, it is. 737 God, everyone's sort of turning around and going the other way. There's a lot of real estate between all those taxiways and stuff, isn't there? It's really strange, that. I'm not quite sure what the build criteria was for that. American 386. Taxi to ramp via Charlie. Get him in to sort of do a chicane Taxi here. To ramp via Charlie. Are you going to do American that for me? Are you going to go, hep, 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 hep. Go on. Go on. Please. 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 Remind me never to do that again. Yes! Oh, typical, my camera freezes like mad when I do that. I like this. I like this little airport. May not be little, but I like this airport. It is very Nashville-esque. I was told by a few people it was very Nashville-esque. We're going to get them calling up in just a sec. But it really is, even down to the airlines that operate here. You've got Southwest, American, Delta, Alaskan. And then, of course, you've got all the uh, fancy stuff. Oh, no. Please stop. Oh, thank God. I got scared then. Oh my Christ. November 223, Mike Whiskey, runway 18, right, clear to land. Ooh, Gulfstream, really fancy. November 754, Whiskey Charlie, taxi to ramp via Bravo. Horizon November Air 2141, Whiskey runway 18, Charlie. left, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. Oosh. Have we got Bravo Hotel still? Yes, those three are on there, and then Mike Whiskey is on its way in. Okay, cool. Although American 386 is just about to be done, so we'll get rid of them anyway off there. And in terms of departures, we've got Horizon Air just going out in their lovely little Embraer 170. Wonderful, small, little regional thing. Out they go. 
powering out of Austin. November 208, Charlie Romeo, runway 18 left, line up and wait. Those two are going to cross each runway other. Left. No more arrivals after this. No more departures either. Nobody wanting pushback or anything right now. It's a shame. Died down very quickly, didn't it? I thought there would have been a big rush because there was a lot of aircraft at these gates. We've lost, what, five or six now? But it's not a big airport, though. It's not a big, big airport, like I say. It's big in terms of how much room it takes up. Like, it's a very spread out airport. But in terms of the terminals, you've got this terminal here. You've got the ramp Austin over ground. there for Allegiant and stuff. But then you've got, like, all the private stuff down there. And that's that's about it, to be honest with you. November 111 Charlie Victor. Approved. Expect runway 18 left. Negative. Ground 18 left. Okay. Approved. Oh, what are you? Exec jet. When I often fly on Microsoft Flight Simulator, or have in the past, I'm often exec jet. <laughs> exec jet, which is the airline net jets. They usually fly Cessna citations and things. It's a CL30. November 208, Charlie Romeo, runway 18 left, cleared for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. November 850, Whiskey Echo, runway 18 left, cleared. Ignore me. November 850, Whiskey Echo, runway 18 left, line up and wait. There you go. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm so bad at this game. So bad at this game. And again, let me just extend my thanks to Feel there for doing what they do for me and supporting my... What the friggin' hell are you doing? What the friggin' hell are you doing? She can't take any more, Captain! Flipping heck, go on. Unbelievable. I'm pretty sure that came to a stop in midair. We're going to have to give November 850 Whiskey Echo quite a while here. Oh no, they're going to be up much quicker. Why has it got a targeting pod on it? Seven, eight, three on final one, eight right. Yay! Exec Jet 783, runway 18 right, clear to land. Why was I so excited about that? Runway one, eight, right. Southwest clear after that, which is a Exec Boeing 737. 800. Come on. Get going, you slow cretin. Sorry, 850 Whiskey Echo. You're going to have to just wait, mate. November 111 Charlie Victor. Runway 18 left via Alpha. Uh, Bravo Hotel and Whiskey Charlie. They're both just about to get to their respective areas, so we will get rid of them. We don't have Mike Whiskey or anything on the ground. That's the next aircraft to come in. Just about to arrive, actually. There they are, just over the threshold now. November 850, Whiskey Echo, runway 18 left, clear. November 850, Whiskey Echo, runway 18 left, cleared for immediate takeoff. Upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. You did not want to be recognised then, runway did you? No, left, no, 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 no. for immediate takeoff upon reaching altitude 1000, contact departure. We've got Exec Jet coming in and Southwest after that. Easy to control this airport. Very easy. You just need to be careful about the odd private thing coming in down this way and then sending them out. So I'd often send them out on Alpha because it's quicker that way. It's usually these sort of outer taxiways. They taxi a bit quicker naturally anyway. And then bring them in on Bravo when they're coming in this way because then they're not going to cross over anything else this way and have any dramas going that way because that's golf and then hotel. So yeah, you can, you can easily manage this as long as you get a good flow going. If you've got arrivals on one runway and departures on another. Southwest 2561, runway 18 right, clear to land. We've got Envoy 3685 behind them runway as well, and an Embraer right, 175. Mike Whiskey's just getting off the runway there. But to be honest, I think that just about sums it up. I know it's another pretty short episode for a sort of first look at an airport, but honestly, they're not that busy, these sorts of airports, but they're just really good bread and butter for a game like this, because it'll be somebody's local airport somewhere, and someone will be really excited to see this out there and in this game. It's great, because this is the sort of airport you need. I think I said the same thing about EDDS as well, is that you want airports like this, because it gives you the practice at controlling somewhere like this that's not overly stressful and busy, but it's busy enough to keep you entertained. There's a real fine line in balance in that, and I think feel there have chosen a really good airport in doing this so i'm gonna leave it here i'm gonna leave that for this episode i hope you've enjoyed it though thank you very much for watching go and get this airport for yourself because it will be very good fun especially when you get some of the peak hours and the really busy times but that's all from me thanks very much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode